Hello readers, welcome back. The book I'm bringing you today is a bit different because it's not actually a narrative. What it is, is a list of rules. Now, that sounds a bit sort of unusual. Why would we want to read a book about a list of rules? But this book is written and illustrated by the absolutely amazing, there's the back of the book, <laughs> Sean Tan. And it's called Rules of Summer. Now, this story is about two brothers and they live in kind of a very modern, unusual city. And there is a list of rules that the older brother seems to be telling to the younger brother. And if they get ignored, there's terrible consequences, which means things that happen. And there is a crow that is watching them throughout the story, kind of like he's like the rule keeper. He's like, what is going on, you two? It's actually amazing. And the illustrations are so incredible. I know you're going to absolutely love it. So let's listen to Rules of Summer by Sean Tan. This is the cover of the book. And this is on the back cover. Never break the rules, especially if you don't understand them. These are the end papers. You can see them at the front and at the back of the book. That's the big brother and this is the little brother. I wonder what the bigger boy is whispering to the smaller boy. The little brother really looks like he's listening carefully. And here is our first introduction to the crow who is watching up here. This is what I learned last summer. Never leave a red sock on the clothesline. And I guess they're worried about that enormous red rabbit. He's kind of like the mythical creature that they're afraid of. Wonder who the red rabbit is. There's the red sock left on the clothesline. Amazing buildings. Never eat the last olive at a party. Oh no, look at all of these guys watching them break that rule. And there, up in the corner, is our crow. Never drop your jar. I wonder what will happen. What are they actually doing up there? Are they fishing? Are they fishing for fish in the sky? They're standing on the top of water tanks. And the big brother seems to have caught one. I wonder what the consequence of that was. And boy, he's not very happy, is he? Never leave the back door open overnight. Oh my goodness, the big brother is really unhappy. Look what's happened to their lounge room. There's a bat hanging there. I don't know what this unusual growth is that's taken over the floor of their laundry. And the TV's almost knocked over. And what is that on their lounge? It's not very sensible to leave your door open overnight. Never step on a snail. You might notice that all of these rules so far start with never. Look at that massive explosion that's occurred. The brother looks horrified. I guess we know who's watching. Never be late for a parade. There's the big brother checking his time. Look at all those unusual creatures. 
they look like they have been made out of found objects. And here's our little boy's creation, which is not finished yet. And I think we saw him wearing that on the cover. Never ruin a perfect plan. Now, I wonder if the plan is to escape with that strawberry, but look what the little boy has done. Oh no, he stepped on the big brother's tail. And everyone looks shocked and horrified again. In the place in Western Australia where the author lived, there used to be a lot of discarded objects in an area where he used to visit and he used to imagine what he would make out of them. Never argue with an umpire. The umpire is the person that is judging the rules of the game. And I guess it's the little boy arguing again. Let's have a look in that umpire's tower. Oh, the big brother is the umpire. He's probably saying, your ball was out. And far away on the electrical wire is the bird watching. And the author said that he got inspired by the black ravens that used to sit on the electrical wires near where he lived and sing their kind of haunting song. Never give your keys to a stranger. That little brother. He is breaking every rule and look at this unusual enormous cat that has moved in to his lounge room and is eating popcorn and watching TV. He's even changed the picture to be the cat and the big brother. There's the cat's suitcase and you can see the little brother's slippers and the cat's slippers. There's even a cat statue on the TV. The little brother looks very sad and forlorn. Oh no, there's the crow. Never forget the password. I guess it's the little brother again who's forgotten the password and he's on his knees begging to get into whatever this magical looking place is. It looks kind of like a factory or a warehouse, but it's filled with amazing lights, colors and birds. Never ask for a reason. I guess the little brother or the big brother wanted to know why. And look at all of those creatures that were in the parade and other parts of the book watching them fight. I lost the fight and the big brother is getting the crown and i wonder where is he taking the little brother it's a very unusual house there with the birds figure on there what is this horrible place never wait for an apology and I think the little brother is locked inside because we can see a padlock there. And there's lots of birds flying over. And that is the city where that unusual little place is located. I wonder if the little boy is waiting for the apology. Or the big brother is waiting for the apology. But I guess what we're learning is you should always apologize first. Don't wait for the other person to apologize. Look at that amazing landscape. The rules have always started with never, but you will notice the next rule changes and it starts with always. started with one bird, why is there so many? There's multitudes of birds now. Always bring 
bolt cutters. Bolt cutters are something that can cut the lock off. I'm glad the Briggs brother came to save him. Always know the way home. They're passing such an amazing landscape, aren't they? He's taking him on his handlebars and that's just an amazing damaged plane. Never miss the last day of summer. And it's turned back into never again. And there the boys are in this magical, amazing feast full of cakes and fruits. Look at the beautiful colours compared to the colours in some other parts of the city. They look happy together. I think they've made up and they've forgiven each other. That's it. And that's the end of the story. But there the two brothers are, back in their proper places, eating popcorn, watching TV. And the crow's out there somewhere, but he seems to be flying rather than standing there staring at them. And there's all the pictures on their walls that they've drawn about their summer adventures. Boy, the big brother had a lot of rules that summer, and they were very wise, sensible rules. And the crow. I mean, really, how amazing was that? I think that what was so interesting about the illustrations is that the city itself was quite, what word will I use to describe it? Bleak or stark or you know cold or unfriendly but the two boys seem to stick quite close to each other within that cold unforgiving sort of city and I actually found it quite humorous what happened with the crow. Sean Tan has written a, quite a few children's books and they're all amazing and I hope I get to read some more of them to you. And also this book, you can find it as an app. So maybe you might like to explore it and the pictures a bit more closely. Or you might like to buy the book yourself. I hope you really enjoyed Rules of Summer and I'll see you again next time. Bye.